Okay, just a quick unboxing video here. I'm very excited. I've got the new uh, EEV blog uh, multimeter prototype. This is the original. This is the first one that they sent me. I've had this for uh, quite a few months now. Lots of functions didn't work. Uh, 3D printed uh, case, even though it looks like the real deal. That is uh, plastic, not rubber, and it's got the split down the side. And uh, everything's 3D printed. The knob, the whole lot. Uh, it, you know, the stand, everything else, and yeah, um, it's kind of sort of functional, but yeah, it was a, just a rough, you know, look and feel uh, prototype, but it, you know, it wasn't calibrated, it didn't, you know, half the functions weren't working, but apparently they've sent me this new one, and, um, and they don't, they deliberately, seem to deliberately not tell me a huge amount, um, I don't know, do they want it to be, like, you know, they don't want to give me spoilers or something, but I have no idea whether this new one is uh, 3D printed or not. And by the way, it's the um, uh, April 11th. There we go. They send on the 4th. Had a few issues. <gasps> I can see it. I can see it. So let's have a look. Yeah, they deliberately sort of don't tell me a huge amount. Ooh, this looks like the real deal. This looks like the real deal. It is the real deal. Check it out. Wow, look at that. Um, it changed the colour. I've gone for the uh, the same Pantone blue, which is, where's my, to make it look very similar. Yeah, that's a very, that's as close to the blue as you're going to get. So, yeah, the same uh, Pantone colour, just so that they, uh, you know, kind of look um, similar. So, uh, even though the EV blog, yeah, I've changed that colour, so mm, it's a little bit, this one was always a bit washed out, so I've changed that colour. That should be the same Pantone as that, actually, but you know, the printing processes and stuff like that. So check it out. This is the real deal. This is significantly uh, different. Check it out because, A, it does have a real rubber uh, holster as opposed to, although they have sort of split it down. Oh, that's, I guess how that's how they make it. That's how they mould it. I don't know about injection moulding for rubber uh, cases and things like that, but that is the real deal. So that's going to be the final form. That's going to be the final physical form of this thing. The uh, oh, That's just the uh, plastic on there. This is going to be the final physical form. Of course, it still needs, you know, you can t change the electronics inside to your heart's content and uh, everything. Oh, hey, oh, oh, I accidentally turned it on oh, without uh, taking it apart. Silly me. Anyway, they've taken off the CE mark. I did not like that at all. Did not like the CE mark. First thing, I sort of noticed is that's a bit how you're doing the knobs a bit loosey-goosey so that's not terrific but once again this may you know it may not be the finished uh, product it may is that like a three that may be a 3d printed top again i'm not entirely sure i don't know have to take the thing apart but um yeah move the ce i just hate the ce thing they've moved it to the back apparently yep yeah, there it is there you go they've got the real sticker on the back made in korea south korea that is not north korea and, uh, yes, they've got a serial number. I don't know what their rhyme or reason for their uh, serial numbers is. But uh, that is the real deal. And the whole concept, of course, was to get it as close, as small as possible. And, yeah, as you can see, it is not much bigger than the already very small and cute uh, Bryman BM235. So they've done amazingly well to fit it in there. Although this thing is like Cat 4 rated. This one is only Cat 3. Um, it's not, not designed for, you know, high energy stuff. It, that's not its purpose. It's designed to sort of pack a lot of, uh, you know, electronics functionality rather than electrical functionality. Hang on. That's a bit... Oh, oh I had that there. Ooh. It's a bit wobbly. A bit wobbly. Jeez, it's not... It's not solid like that one. That is totally... <laughs> it's wobbly. Like, because it's sitting on that, that rubber there, it's not nearly as... Well, uh, that, probably because it's tall. Because of the thickness of the thing, I'd be guessing. Um, it's, well, it's actually not that much thicker, really, in the scheme of things. So, but that... That really wobbles, <laughs> that wobbles around. That's pretty terrible. It's terrible, Muriel. Anyway, I'm not sure what the deal is there, but let's, uh, let's switch it on. As you can see, like the 3D printed prototype really gave you a good feel for what it's going to look and feel like. I mean, you know, even though, you know, it felt like plastic, but it, 
you know, like apart from the colour difference, because we did change the colour, they just, you know, randomly chose this colour until I told them to give a certain Pantone colour. So let's switch it on. Uh, the temperature didn't work before, did it? No, low Z, uh, voltage, you know? So that's, I assume, yeah, yeah, temperature, degrees C. Huh? Volts. And that's degrees C, oh, the, hmm, yeah, okay. The range switch feels very, yeah, it's very loosey-goosey, wow. I've never felt a, a looser range switch than that one. Gonna have to work on that, I think. And anyway, so, yep, even on volts, it's gonna, um, by default, is gonna show the uh, temperature, 25.6. That's what it'd be about here. I haven't uh, had the aircon running, so, yep, that's gonna be reasonably accurate. And, uh... Until, of course, you uh, you can get up the extra uh, display on the thing. So, anyway, let's... Uh, oh, does setup do anything? Setup didn't do anything before. It did absolutely nothing. Yep. Bat. Oh, there we go. Battery voltage, 6.3 volts. So it tells you the battery voltage. That's neat. I like that. Uh, automatic power on. I, I did not know how they would set this thing up. I've got no idea. There's, it looks like there's only a couple of options so far for uh, setup. Maybe if you hold it down. Oh, uh, Farrenheit. Oh, okay. Setup does Fahrenheit. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. There's no other way to do it, really, because you don't want to change the mode, because the mode would put it into um, uh, AC with the uh, Hertz there and the or oh, AC plus DC mode, of course. So you can't use your mode switch to change that. So yeah, they have to use the setup button. We haven't really talked in depth about how to uh, set up the menus and stuff like that. That's, you know, like software stuff to be uh, determined later. But it seemed to have, you know, a reasonable number of buttons. Got our 15 volt diode uh, test range, which I'm looking forward to uh, trying out. I won't do that in here. I just wanted to give you my first reaction of this thing. It, uh, that looks very nice. But yeah, a few issues, you know, loosey-goosey rain switch, wobbles around. But as I said, this is not really designed for field use and things like that. So yeah, I, you know, it'll survive a drop off a bench, but that's, you know, probably it. So I'm keen to sort of uh, open it up and uh, have a look at the... Ugh, hang on. This could be a real test because of the thickness. I've never seen a holster this thick before in my life. Uh, and you're going to have to take it off to change the batteries. So, geez. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it came off okay. You just got to, hey, there's my face. There it is. Beautiful. Had them mould that in there. That worked surprisingly well. I didn't want it on the front because that, that would have looked real tacky. But there you go. That's it without its holster. It feels like a solid meter there's no worries whatsoever in that it really feels solid i like the fact that the you know the whole cover comes off the fuses the batteries the four double a's are in there everything's hunky dory so um it didn't do uh va before now it's doing uh now it's doing va so that's nice but why it's um not displaying hello actually Maybe it's, yeah, once again, software thing, you know, we should like display the um, the voltage up there or something and swap between the voltage and the current and things like that. Oh, maybe you can't, no, no, you can't. No, 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 not sure how the setup works. Anyway, she'll be right. Hmm, is the microamp range? Yeah, they said it actually had a reasonably high uh, count on there. Because, you know, this is like 50 microamp range. Pretty good. It's got one nanoamp re resolution on the thing. So, of course, um, will the relative function work? Didn't work before. Yep, it works. Whoa, why is it jumping up to 114 like that? Am I touching it? What's going on? Not sure what's going on there. Mm, doesn't jump to 100 or 150 there. So, not sure what the deal is there. Anyway, that's the first look unboxing of the new EEV blog meter still a lot of work to go it's only April they're targeting a release date of uh, August 
or something like that, I'm not going to release this video now, so you're probably watching this after the fact. So, uh, this is, um, it's a complicated process actually working with a US company who's then working with a, um, a Korean company to actually design and manufacture. There's multiple levels and you've got to resist this temptation. I've got to resist the temptation of trying to micromanage every little last detail of this. You just can't do it. You know, so some things I've got to go, you know, I've, I've got to trust them on and, uh, and that we can iron it out, uh, later, but it, you know, it's looking very, uh, promising, but even this thing, this thing took I believe when I first started talking to Bryman of this, they were designing it. I didn't really have much of a hand in the design of this thing, just a few little uh, tweaks after the fact. But um, uh, the this took like 18 months or something from when I first heard about it, and they were working on it before that, and uh, before it was actually released. It's still not released to the general public. It's released to me, um, but nobody else seems to be selling it yet, and it's like almost two years. Crazy. It takes a long time to develop a decent product. So, uh, you know, if we make August um, or whatever they're targeting, I don't know. So, yeah, lots of software and uh, uh, things to sort out and testing and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to have fun playing with this. Catch you next time.